Our hearts beat about 100,000 times a day, and that's 42 million beats in a year and a whopping 3 billion times in your lifetime. So what happens when something goes wrong? I'm Carlin, I'm a family doctor. In this video, I'll share with you what causes a heart attack and how you can prevent it in the future. The heart is a powerful factory that pumps blood and oxygen non-stop to the rest of your body, but it's also made of muscle, meaning that it needs its own supply of nutrients and oxygen too. Little blood vessels in your heart cause your coronary arteries do this exact job and understanding what is happening there is the key to knowing what causes a heart attack it all begins with the buildup of plaque in these arteries over time so what is plaque imagine these tiny arteries are like pipes and they transport blood to your heart now if you smoke or eat highly fatty foods or have high cholesterol the inner walls of the arteries become damaged and inflamed and over time this leads to build up of fatty deposits the process of plaque building up is called atherosclerosis sclerosis but many people aren't aware that they have it because by the time you know you have it you've probably had a heart attack and atherosclerosis is the process of these tiny arteries becoming narrowed making it difficult for blood to flow through and it increases your risk of having a heart attack or stroke because sometimes you can also get little plaques that break off and flow further downstream to another part of the artery which in itself can also be narrowed and this can then completely block the whole artery without the supply of oxygen nutrients nutrients and waste products going away, the muscles of the hearts can become damaged and die. And so the more time that passes without treatment to restore the blood flow to the muscles of the heart, the greater the damage. And it's super important to keep in mind when dealing with something like this is that when you are dealing with a heart attack, it is time critical when you have to go to hospital as soon as possible. You see, time is muscle. The more time we waste, the more muscle could die. Now, certain medicines and certain surgical procedures may help to restore some of the blood supply to the the heart but the sooner that's done the better and irreversible damage cannot be reversed because that's why it's called irreversible damage and also remember heart attacks aren't always like you see them in the movies it can be a lot more subtle than that so knowing what causes a heart attack is the best way to start thinking about small changes that you can make to prevent the buildup of plaques in your arteries and the key is to make the following changes in your lifestyle the first one is to kick out bad habits so top of the list should be that if you smoke you should stop smoking this is one of the biggest factors for heart attacks or strokes in the developed world you can visit your family doctor or you can go to some special stop smoking clinics which can help you give up we know through research the people that attend these clinics and the people who seek help to give up tend to have a successful outcome next one is to reduce the amount of alcohol intake you have and lastly we should be aiming to reduce our stress levels and it depends on what the stresses are if it's work it's finding a good work-life balance if it's other things it's making sure that you're doing things that help calm you down like mindfulness and meditation so as well as kicking unhealthy habits in your lives we should also be aiming to pick up good healthy habits now a balanced healthy diet with lots of fruit and vegetables is really important reducing the amount of processed food that we eat cooking our own meals is a good idea reducing the amount of fast food and takeaway foods in the video above i've looked at the crazy rise in food delivery apps and the impact that's had on our health we should also be aiming to do regular exercise a couple of times a week which is moderate intensity and if people have high cholesterol we should be aiming to reduce our cholesterol levels which can lead to more fatty deposits in our blood vessels likewise if you have high blood pressure reducing it can help protect your blood vessels from damage and also from plaque buildup click on this video up here to see how you can lower your blood pressure naturally at home remember it's never too late to start taking care of your heart by making simple changes in your lifestyle kicking out crappy habits bringing in new good habits is important and that lowers your risk of having a heart attack and one key tip i would give from personal experience is if you try and change too many habits you're probably going to fail at all of them focus on the important one first so if you're smoking give up smoking first and then over time you can move on to other habits pick one or two of those things at a time gives you a higher chance of getting success if you're worried about some of the more subtle signs of a heart attack then click on this next video where i talk about the seven signs and symptoms of a heart attack you should never ignore. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Peace out.